I was shaking and uh, I had to steady myself. I wasn't sure I could actually do it. There was just something in me that seemed like this was so wrong. And here's two birds, they're closely related. They, they look similar. They're both beautiful birds. And then to go out and decide, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill one of these birds, I'm gonna remove them, is a really difficult thing to do. That's the female, and that's the male over there. In the early 1990s, we started hearing some barred owls. Around 2000, the barred owl numbers suddenly started going up. Our, our habitat models indicated that there's good habitat out there, but despite that, our spotted owl numbers started going downhill. We soon recognized that this was gonna be a problem, and we were wondering what are we gonna do about it, and it, it seemed like the only feasible thing probably was going to be lethal removal of barred owls because they're difficult to capture, but even if you can capture them, the issue is what would you do with them? When I first started working on spotted owls, there was very little known. I mean, we, we knew that they were out there in old forests because there were some historical records but we really had no information on how abundant they were. We didn't know what their total distribution was. There were just a whole lot of unknowns. Starting in the late 80s and early 90s, we initiated some long-term demography studies, which are they're studies that are designed to track the population. And we use banded birds to do that. So we go out and we mark all the birds and, and follow them every year. This off right here so it doesn't stick out so far. Keep about an eighth of an inch sticking out. Yeah. Okay, good. What the data suggests from all those study areas is that the populations are gradually declining. In the northern part of the range, in Washington, uh, where the, we're estimating about seven or eight percent decline per year, which is really a, a pretty, it's a crash, basically. We thought that if we just did a good job of protecting habitat, that the spotted owl population would eventually reach e equilibrium or even increase and everything would be fine. We're seeing a continued decline and all the evidence suggests that that's due to the invasion of this whole area by the barred owl. Barred owls come into a spotted owl territory and chase them around and physically hit them if they can uh, and basically chase them out. We basically have two choices. One is to do nothing and spotted owls slowly go extinct, or we try to control barred owls, at least in some areas, so that the two species can coexist. The, the, the results have been, in, in my opinion, quite um, profound in the sense that, that a spotted owl population, which was going in this direction, as soon as we started the removal, immediately started going in the other direction in terms of the number of occupied sites. I guess I would say um, I, I can't be 100% confident that it's going to work in the long term, but I'm quite confident that if we don't do anything, that, that the spotted owl is, is headed towards extinction. I think the idea of doing an experimental removal of barred owls is to measure the effect on spotted owls makes sense from a scientific perspective. It'll, it'll help us to understand, you know, is it feasible? Personally, I kind of think about all we can do is do our best uh, to manage habitat for spotted owls and other species that occur in old forests and kind of let the two species work it out. I personally don't think we can ever manage barred owls in the long run. To me, I mean, I spent my life trying to protect and, and, and save this species. Uh, we've done, I think, an incredible job of protecting habitat, and yet we're still seeing the population declining, and that's really disheartening. For me, what makes life interesting on this planet is the incredible biodiversity that, that surrounds us. It's what, it's what I live for. I mean, I think this is the only chance we get, and I think it's incredibly important that we try to protect that biodiversity for future generations, because I mean, this place we live in is amazing. The spotted owl is just one little piece of that incredible biodiversity. It's a piece that I happen to get focused on for most of my life, but it's what makes life worth living for me.